Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In Roblox, every part has a position property and an orientation property. And as you can see from our prior lesson on C-Frame, every time we use C-Frame to change a position of a part, we lose the orientation and vice versa. If we try to change the orientation of the part, we lose the position of the part. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use some C-Frame math to set both the position and orientation of a part at the same time. Here you can see I have a red box. The position is 10, 10, and 10. The orientation of that part is 0, 90, and 0. Now if I want to use C-Frame math to add 1 to each of these components of the position, I would do something like this. First, let's open up the command bar. I have a command bar down here. If you don't have a command bar in your Roblox Studio, you can open it by going to View and then click on Command Bar. Once you have it open, you can enter the following line. I have entered game.workspace.redbox.cframe to reference to my Redbox red C-frame. And then I set it equals to itself plus a vector 3. In my vector 3, the components are 1, 1, and 1. So it's going to add 1 to each of these components in the position of the red box. Notice the orientation is 0, 90, and 0. And here we go. So there it is. The position now is 11, 11, 11. But notice the orientation did not change. It's still 0, 90, and 0. Unlike our prior tutorial where the uh, orientation of the part got reset when we changed the position. Instead of adding on a vector 3, you can also subtract a vector 3. For example, here I'm going to put in a minus sign to subtract a vector 3. So currently we have 11, 11, 11, and the orientation is 0, 90, and 0. And if we hit enter, the position goes back to 10, 10, and 10, and the orientation is still 0, 90, and 0. Instead of adding on a vector 3, I can add on a C frame. Notice that when adding on a vector 3, you, you use the plus sign, but when adding on a C frame, you use the multiplication sign. Before we hit enter, let's take a look at the current position of the red box. It's 10, 10, and 10. The rotation is 0, 90, and 0. If I hit enter, I would expect to see 11, 11, 11. Let's take a look. Instead, I got 11, 11, 9. So it added 1 to the X and Y component, but the Z component got subtracted by 1. The reason for that is because we got a 90 degrees rotation over here. So it depends on which way your part is facing. When adding a vector 3 to a C-frame, you are calculating the new position for the part. But when adding a C-frame to a C-frame, it's kind of like you're telling the person how many steps to take in which direction. So the ending position depends on which direction the person is facing. I have set up an example here. Here I have a red box. The position is 10, 10, and 10. Orientation is 0, 0, and 0. Now each time I hit enter here, I'm going to add 1 to the Z component of the position using a C frame. Look, see what happened. Enter. And it changes the Z component to 11. If I keep hitting enter here, it's going to keep adding 1 to the Z component. You, you can see the Z component is now 20 and the box is going up further and further, further away from us. Now I'm not going to change this statement right here, so we're still going to do the same exact thing. We're going to add 1 to the current C-frame of the red box, but the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to change the direction my box is facing. So right now my box is facing us. I'm going to make it facing the opposite direction, away from us. So I change Instead of 0, I'm changing it to 180. Now the current position is 10, 10, 20. I'm going to keep hitting enter here. It becomes 19, 18. So 
So you can see the box is coming closer and closer to us. Even with the same exact statement, we're adding one to the C frame of the red box. The end position of the box depends on which direction the box is facing. Again, you use the plus and minus sign to add and subtract the vector 3, and you use the multiplication sign to add a C frame, but you, you don't use a division sign to subtract a C frame. You use the inverse function. So here, if I want to subtract a C frame, I'm going to say colon inverse. And now if I hit enter, you can see the box is going away from me without the inverse function. If I hit enter, the box is coming towards me. To add an angle to a C-frame, you do it the same way. You use the multiplication sign, followed by C-frame.angles, and you specify the angles in here. Here I'm adding 90 degrees to my Y angle. So currently my part is at 0, minus 180 and 0. If I keep hitting enter here, if I hit enter once, it becomes minus 90. And now again, it becomes zero. And if I keep hitting enter, it's going to go all the way around back to negative 180. Notice that the position does not change. If you prefer to specify your angles in radians, you can do it this way. Remember that pi radian is equal to 180 degrees. So if you want 90 degrees, you would do math.pi divided by 2. And I'm starting out with the orientation of 0, 0, and 0. Each time I hit enter, it's going to rotate by 90 degrees. Let's take a look. There it goes, 90, 180, minus 90, and back to 0. To declare a new position and angles for a part, you can do it this way. You can set the part C frames equals to C frame dot new, and you give it the, the uh, position. And you use the multiplication sign to add the angles. So you can define both the position and the angles in one statement. And now our, our part is going to have both a position and an angle. Let's take a look. I'm going to hit enter. The position has been changed to 1020 minus 10, just as we specify here. And the angles is 0, math pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, and then 0. If you want the inverse of that, you can add the inverse function. And now if I hit enter, the position is still the same because it is still 10, 20, minus 10. But the angle, instead of 90 degrees, it has turned to negative 90. Here's another example of adding two C frames together. So I'm using the red box C frame and I'm just setting it equal to itself, adding on to itself. So it's like two times the uh, original C frame. Um, the original C frame is position 10, 10, and 10. The orientation is 0, 45, and 0. Let's see what happened. You can see that the orientation has gone from 0, 45, 0 to 0, 90, 0. So it had added uh, the two together, but look at the position. It had gone from 10, 10, and 10 to 24.142, comma 20, comma 10. So again, the ending position depends on which direction your part is facing originally. And finally, if you ever try to multiply a C frame by a vector three, instead of adding a vector three, we're multiplying by a vector three, the result is not going to be a C frame, it's going to be a vector 3. For example, here I'm setting the part C frame, the red box C frame, equals to the red box C frame multiplied by a vector 3. Let's see what happened. And before we hit enter, I'm going to open up the output window. And now we're going to hit enter. You can see there is an error message unable to assign property C frame because. They expected a C frame, but they got a ve vector 3. So this here returns a vector 3, and that's why you cannot assign a vector 3 to a C frame. So that is all we have on C frame for this lesson. 
And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see how this all looked like when when we put it inside a script. So let's go to our service script service. We're gonna add a script. In your script, just add in the following lines. On the first two lines here, I'm declaring my red box and my blue box. So here you can see I have two boxes. I have a red one and a blue one. So I'm declaring the red box and the blue box. The red box is called box. The blue box is called box two. We're waiting for 10 seconds. And then we're setting the red box C frame equals to the blue box C frame plus a vector three. So now my red box C frame should have the same orientation as my blue box C frame. So you can see the blue box C frame is laying sideways. So the red box should lay sideways as well, but it's gonna have an additional 10 stats uh, more than the blue box. So it's gonna be like about over here laying sideways. And then we're gonna wait for three seconds and we're going into this for loop. My for loop is going from one to 45. For each iteration, I'm adding one degree to the angle, to the Y angle. So my red box is gonna rotate for about 45 degrees and it's gonna stop. And then we go into this infinite loop here. I got a big while true do loop. So it's an infinite loop and it's gonna keep on doing this indefinitely. When it started, it rotated in one direction. Here I have the inverse. So it's gonna go in the opposite direction. When, when it hits 90 degrees, it's gonna stop for one second and then it's gonna come back and then when when it hits 90 degrees again it's gonna stop for one second and then it goes back up here it's gonna go in the reverse direction again let's now play and take a look here I have the blue box and there's the red box it has moved there and now it's rotating 45 degrees and it goes back the other way for 90 degrees and it's gonna come back this way and it's gonna keep on doing that indefinitely all right everyone that's how you use c-frame in roblox thank you all so much again for watching and we will see you again soon